glad to welcome you to this edition of Better You Today. Staying glued to your screen implies a functional sense of sight. In the words of William Shakespeare, the eyes are the window to your soul. The human eye, care, structure and functioning is our focus on today's episode of the program. My name is Yetunde Jayola. Let's go on a short break. Please don't go anywhere. The eye clinic I went to it has been long, quite all right. It's about it's more than 10 years from now. And I went there because I was having uh, an itching in my eye. That was why I went to the clinic. And their service was okay. They'll put like this stuff in your eyes, then they'll keep changing the and then you have to read from a far wall, those alphabets. I started using glasses in 2017. Actually, because I'm short sighted. Yeah, my sight is quite low. The only time I have a problem is seeing when I want to be, when I want to study. But I don't use the glasses when I want to do you know, other things. Just when I want to read. When you go with your problems, you have eye issues, you need a glass. All they do most physically is to, is to give you glasses because you have to pay the glasses. So they don't take, they don't, they don't, I don't think they undertake holistic on the hand test. Of course I've been to an eye clinic before because then currently I have an eye issue. I had uh, what uh, they refer to as a uh, retina detection. It was recommended to me by my doctor. Yeah, he said that uh, my eye currently does not need a lot of uh, sun rays to be coming into the lens. So he had to ask me to use uh, at moment use uh, dark glasses to protect my lenses until I'll get the normal uh, medicated uh, glasses from them. Although I can see far, sometimes I can read far but not a long distance. But if like I want to read my book, I can't read it. I cannot see it clear. Very first glasses I got um, at a point I was not seeing. So when I went back, they discovered that the first person that checked me did not give me the correct, did not check it correctly. So they have to change it, which balance my eyes so I can now see clearly. that you will all know the importance of taking proper and adequate care of your eyes. Meanwhile, a clinical optometrist is our resource person today. You will get to meet him in a short while. A mini documentary on the human eyes is next on our lineup. The human eye is a living optical device that reacts to visible light and allow humans to utilize visual information for a plethora of purposes, including seeing things, keeping balance, and maintaining circular rhythm, which is physical, mental, and behavioral changes that follow a 24-hour cycle. The eye sits in a protective bony socket called the orbit. Six extraocular muscles in the orbit are attached to the eye. These muscles move the eye up and down, side to side, and rotate the eye. These extraocular muscles are attached to the white part of the eye called sclera. Periodically, it is recommended to carry out eye examinations to assess the vision 
and the ability to focus on and discern objects. Some eye defects are asymptomatic, hence treatable eye challenges are detected early and nipped in the bud. These tests are strongly advised for people who are 40 years and older. Infections and injury, however, necessitate undergoing eye examination to promptly curtail or reverse any detected anomaly in the functioning of the eye. This will go a long way to preserving the vision of the people concerned. Experts advise that some groups of people need not wait till they are 40 years of age to go for a comprehensive eye examination. These are persons confirmed to have diabetes, persons living with high blood pressure, and persons with a family history of eye diseases. The eye is a very sensitive organ in the body requiring utmost care. Eye irritation occurs when the eye is subjected to certain volatile organic compounds. Lighting, which is glare and poor contrast. Gaze position, reduced blink rate, limited number of breaks between visual tasks and activities, among others. Some basic terms associated with the human eye. Myopia or short-sightedness. This is a common eye condition that causes distant objects to appear blurred. The inability to see things clearly unless they are relatively close to the eyes. Hyperopia or long-sightedness is a common eye condition that makes it difficult to see nearby objects clearly. Astigmatism. This is a common vision condition due to improper curvature of the eye. That is, the shape of the eye is not perfectly round. Astigmatism can affect both near and far vision. And it is often a cause along with near sightedness and fair sightedness. Refractive error. These are a huge of vision problems that occur when the shape of your eye keeps light from focusing correctly on your retina. It can cause blurry vision, which can be severe enough to cause visual impairment. They are caused by abnormalities in the shape of the eyes. Eye strain. This occurs when you overuse or overlabor your eyes, often due to reading for long hours, working at a computer, or driving long distances. Night blindness. This implies difficulty in seeing at night, especially when driving or in a dark or poorly light place. Cross eyes, strabismus, and nystagmus. These are conditions when the eyes are not aligned with each other when looking at something. Lazy eyes. This is known as amblopia. It appears when one eye doesn't develop properly and has a weaker vision compared to the other eyes. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Justice Amade, a clinical optometrist who will give us valuable insights on the subject matter. See you at the other side. The window of the body is the eyes. So you don't uh, need to wait till the eyes go bad before you can visit a doctor to check your eyes. From the day you are born to the day you will die, 
you definitely need your eyes to see well. So that eye is very essential that you take care of it. So you should try and examine your eyes every year, once or twice a year. You don't need to have a visual complication. You don't need to have any eye problem just to see an eye doctor. It's just the way you maintain your body, the way you take care of your body, the way you wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, um, comb your hair and bathe. It's the same way you should put critical care to the maintenance of your eyes. So you need to visit a doctor, you need to visit an optometrist, a, an ophthalmologist, a technician, an eye care specialist to make sure that you are properly examined for any visual complication. God created the human body to perform optimally. You don't need any assistance to walk. You're not supposed to need assistance to eat. You're not supposed to need an assistance to see. But at a certain stage in life, you find that the vision begins to deteriorate, most especially for people who are 40 years of age or people who are above 40 years of age. They find it difficult to read tiny prints. They find it difficult to read things that are very um, small. They have to take those prints a little bit farther away from them to be able to see it properly. So at this stage, you don't need anybody to tell you you need an eye examination. You need to be tested. You need to be checked by a doctor. For people who are experiencing visual deterioration, like difficulty in reading, and this problem majorly starts from 40 years of age. People who are adults above 40 have difficulty reading. At this point, that doesn't really mean that you are sick. That doesn't really mean that you have a, a problem that is so pathetic. But it's a sign that you need to be assisted, that your vision needs assistance. So that assistance can be created, that assistance can be given to you by a doctor. So at this point, you will need to have um, your reading glasses, you need to have your seeing glasses. Some people, not everybody needs reading glasses. Some persons need glasses to enhance their vision at distance. Some persons need glasses to enhance their vision at near. Some person needs glasses to, to use their computer. This is actually a, a technological age where people spend a lot of time on their computer. You don't need to expose your eyes to this kind of light that comes out from your computer. So you need blue blocking lenses to be able to protect yourself from these harmful radiations that comes from your phone, from your laptops, from your smart devices. And also for people who are above 40, they need to be placed on presbyopic corrections. And these glasses would, would aid them to read better. These glasses will aid them to read, to see better, most especially things that are not very legible. There are many conditions that causes halos or glare when you are driving. Now, astigmatism can cause glare. For people who are astigmatic, they are very sensitive to light, bright light, any kind of light. And also, there are some kind of conditions like glaucoma that can also cause halos around light. So there are many things, there are many eye problems that causes distortion of light. Once the distortion of light, you have um, difficulty seeing well, most especially driving at night. For people who have this kind of light sensitivity, night driving lenses, they are specifically made for night driving. So for people who experience distortion in terms of the way they perceive light, they can go for this kind of prescription. There are many conditions in the body that can also affect the eyes. Conditions like diabetes, conditions like hypertension, conditions like excess cholesterol, all of this, even other immune problems too, can also affect the eyes. For people who are diabetic, it is very essential that they visit their doctor to have a dilated eye examination. Once you have a dilated eye examination, you'll be able to monitor the veins, the artery inside your eye, because excess sugar can cause these arteries and veins to begin to burst. The essence is to preserve your vision in the long run, because there's no permanent cure for diabetes. Same with hypertension. You have to be on your medications, you have to be on your diet, you have to be on exercise and a lot of things to be able to monitor, control and manage these problems because diabetes can cause blindness.
A lot of children can't see very well, but their parents don't know they can't see very well. Their caregiver, their teachers, they, they don't know they can't see very well. For children who can't see very well, it is very essential that they have a comprehensive eye exam. In advanced and civilized countries, preschool children go through preschool eye tests. They go through eye checkup before they are admitted into, into school. You find a child who is always going closer to the TV. You think they just enjoy the TV at that level. No, they are not seeing it very well. They are not seeing what they are watching, so they have to go closer. You see a child in class who goes closer to the board just to see what they are writing on the board. Not because they enjoy going to the front, but they can't see what they are writing from the back. So they have to move forward to make sure that they are seeing what the teacher has written on the board. So when you have this kind of children, don't try to pamper it. Don't try to manage it. Okay, it will get better as you grow. No. There are children with myopia. There are children with hyperopia. There are children with astigmatism. You need to step in at the right time before amblyopia sets in. When amblyopia sets in, you can no longer correct their eye problems. So at that level, the eye become lazy. At that level, the eye cannot function effectively because the signal to the brain will just close at that level. The child is complaining of headache, you should visit your doctor. The child is complaining of eye pain, you should visit your doctor. The child is missing letters when writing, you should visit your doctor. So there are many signs, there are many symptoms that a child can present with that will give you an idea that this child needs to visit a doctor. You cannot treat yourself by yourself, so you need the service of an expert to properly diagnose and give you the right medication. So also, in maintaining your eyes, you have to seek the service of an expert. So you cannot walk along the street and see somebody selling glasses and decide to start doing trial and error because that's what the majority of people do. You just walk into one shop and then start putting different glasses into your, in your eyes, which one fits you, which one helps you to read better. You have to have a complete eye examination to be able to uncover what your problem is. And the only way you can do that is to visit a specialist. As an eye doctor, I cannot effectively treat somebody that has kidney problem. I, I know even if I cannot treat you. <laughs> Same way someone who is a kidney specialist cannot treat eye problems. So medicine is broad. A dentist is being trained to treat anything tooth related. An optometrist is being trained to treat anything eye related. A cardiologist is being trained to treat anything heart related. So these are the branches of medicine that helps to take care of the entire human body. And then in terms of caring for your eye, there are food, there are fruit, there are things you should do that also helps you overall. Fruit, make sure you're taking fruits, citrus fruits, bananas, avocado pear, carrots. Carrot contains a lot of vitamin A that helps the macula of the eye. So once you're on carrot, it supplies you sufficient amount of vitamin A for your general eye health. A lot of people wait for their eyes to get bad before they visit a doctor. For instance, I saw a patient some days ago, and then I asked him, how long have you been having this? He was diagnosed with glaucoma. How long have you been having this visual um, distortion? You know, you're not seeing clearly. How long has it been? I said, oh, doctor, it's been like for four years now. But I just felt it was a normal thing. It took clear. And you, your feeling can not save you. The body does not forgive. <laughs> Once you miss what you're supposed to do, it can get worse. If you're sick of malaria, treat yourself. If you have any kind of problem, treat yourself. So when I asked him how long, I said about three years. And as at that time, when it started, it would have still been easy for him to manage this problem. But at this level, 70% of division is already gone. In the next 10 to 20 years, that patient might go blind completely. So once you notice there's something you're not okay with, visual distortion, blurry vision, have an eye check. Once you notice that you are start feeling unnecessary headache 
around your forehead, by the side of your head. Don't just assume it's malaria. You can be healthy, but the eye can cause you very terrible headache. Once you start having headache at the forehead, headache by the side, it's time to visit the doctor. Once you confirm you don't have malaria, typhoid, or any other condition like hypertension, the next line of action is to visit a doctor. That should check your eyes. Wow, that was so informative and impactful addition to our well-being. And I'm sure we've learned one or two things from Dr. Justice Amadi. Do visit our social media handles, NTA series on YouTube, among others displayed on your screen. See you next time on an equally enlightening and educative episode of the program. My name is Yetunde Jayola. I will leave you with the words of Giorgio Armani. Elegance is not catching somebody's eyes, but it is staying in somebody's memory. See you some other time. <laughs>